Hello knitters, Barbara Benson here. I am an independent knitwear designer who also likes to make videos here on my YouTube channel, Watch Barbara Knit. If you would like to learn more about my knitwear designs, please check in the description below. And there you will find a link to my Ravelry page where you can browse all of the patterns I have available for you to knit. If you do decide you want to get one of my patterns and knit it up, I would absolutely love to hear about it. You can either chat with me in the comments below here on YouTube, or you can check the description and find a link to my Facebook group for Watch Barbara Knit where we can chat about uh, all different kinds of things. It's a closed group so we can share pictures and in general have some silly Facebook fun. Today I am starting off. It's going to be a little while. We're going to you're going to get to see several of these. I just came back from a 2-week trip where I went through Alabama and Florida and visited multiple different yarn stores. Whenever I go to a local yarn store, I like to make a what I call a shop with me video where I go through the store and look at all the yarn and smoosh it a little bit and in general just check the store out. Out. And while I know that I love actually going to local yarn stores, the next best thing, if you can't go, is to watch the video of it. So um, check in the description below and you will find a link to this yarn store's website. And this first one that I visited is Fiber Artwork in Huntsville, Alabama. All the links will be there. If you see anything in this video that particularly tickles your fancy, please check through to their website. I am sure they'd love to hear from you and I'm pretty sure all of them are willing to ship. And I know so Nina at Fiber Artwork will totally hook you up with stuff. So I hope you enjoy this tour. Hey, it's super bright out. This is my first stop on my little tour through the South. I am at Fiber Artwork in Huntsville, Alabama, and I'm going to take you inside so you guys can see all of the awesome yarn. Okay, here we are in this absolutely beautiful store. As you can see, I have already invaded. We have this little rack over here that is full of my independent patterns. And then let's, I gotta stay slow so you guys don't get seasick. And then here are most of the book patterns. And we are gonna walk around and take a look at this store. Now, look at this. I think this is one of the coolest displays I've seen. It is like all the notions in the entire world are here. It is open like this, and look at this. It's got pegboard everywhere, and nip blockers, and cool, it's just like got everything. I want all of it. And it just keeps on going. So I think this is a really nifty display idea she's got here. But it's got all the notions. And we got some books. And she's got some awesome bags. She seems to have as much of a bag problem as I do. Let's see what we got. Oh, dos tierras. I talked to some people today. And they're going to do my... my uh, Mosaic Cow Oscillator, and we paired up some beautiful Dos Tierras for them. I really like this. Look at this. Look at that orange. This is Flema, and I just think it's beautiful, and I sort of like it with this light blue, but look at it with this. Oh, let's pull that down. So this is Flema and a very dark pearl 10. Look at that though, it is like screams autumn to me. Let's put them back, but look how pretty she's got all of them and look at that Wales Road, so pretty. Then we got, what's this fuzzy stuff over here? Fuzzy fuzzy, L'Amour by Haiku. This is Baby Llama, well you know I love the Baby Llama. That is really nice. Oh, I really like this pale, kind of dusty rose color. Oh, that's gorgeous. Ooh, I wonder what weight this is. I gotta find out what weight that is. Dun, dun, dun. 
Nina, do you know what weight this Lamour is from Haiku? Um, it's more like a DK weight. It's a DK? Or a sport. I know you explained what that means, the two words. <laughs> it's okay. That might work really well in my, um, in the willow bloom mitts. It's okay. Oh, look at that giant thing. Of, oh, that's gorgeous. And as always, my love, Marta in Rios. Look at that. Oh, Malabrigo, bright green, always. We've got... There's just, you guys are going to be amazed how much yarn is in this yarn store. There's Simply Worsted. This is a great workhorse yarn. And Kobasi. I like that. The Kobasi. I kind of trying to remember. It stands for cotton, bamboo, and silk, I believe. Yep. Which is a super smart way to do things. And that, what is this? It's from Oregon. What is it? Imperial yarn. Ooh, that's a nice big chunky yarn. Ooh, it's squishy too. Love it. More awesome colors. This is the Riley. That's a nice yarn. Ooh, what's in that? Look at me. Me and my, ooh. Alpaca, mulberry, silk, and linen. That's an interesting blend. And I love the way that the, um, I bet it's the linen that's bringing in the variance in color. That's super nice. Malabrigo, more Rios. Man, she's got a lot of Rios. And this I thought was super cool. Look, this is set into the wall and it's a spinner. Wee! So it's a different way to display things. I think that's super cool. Look, that's a crazy color. What is it? Whoop, whoop, whoop. Glazed carrot. Oh, this is the color I was playing with earlier. I really like it. More haiku and sueno. I think I'm in the worsted area. <laughs> Beautiful. There is isochronal arc. And we're going to walk across. There's a whole tower of Madeline Tosh. And again, see, these are cool. Watch. Isn't that cool? They spin. Whee! Fun in yarn stores. She has these beautiful gradients from uh, Apple Tree Knits. How beautiful these are. We were lining up, I believe someone today bought this color. No, she bought the blue to do um, each to each. And I think it's going to be gorgeous. We got soak and more bags. More bags. And let me get what's up there. Uh, the American brand, some Misty Alpaca. I'm going to come around to, oh, look at that cool sock. Anybody want to see a cool sock? That is a really cool sock with the gradient. Neat. We've got, oh, these are the cool that you can make a pair of matching self-striping socks. It's, it's, it's like cheating. Totally cheating. And, oh, crazy zapper balls. These things are awesome. They're so fun. Look at that one. They're just crazy. Some beautiful Shalimar. Ooh, that's a pretty gray. DeVries, Richard DeVries. Ooh, back into, oh, this is the Finito. This stuff is so soft. That is what I designed and curiouser in. And we've got a bunch of Michita. We matched up several different colors of this to do Love Child in. And I think someone ended up getting, so Vulcan and this is Azul Profundo. Look at that together. This dark, dark blue with Vulcan. I think it's going to make a gorgeous Love Child. Put that back where it belongs. And another spinny, and this one is full of silk paca and lace. So let's spin it. <laughs> I could do that all day. Whee! <laughs> They're so much fun. 
This is a super cool yarn that I'm not real familiar with, but I am really looking forward to learning more. Yoth yarn, it stands for yarn on the house, I believe. And this is a nice tight, it's not soft, but it's got a really nice tight twist. It's called Mother, and it's Rambouillet. That's why it's not soft, but it's it just takes yarn really well. It says heavy lace. Um, it's actually a lace that I think I would work with. They've got really beautiful natural colors. The, the palette is very different and I like it. And then this is a soft yarn. This one, Little Brother, is got the cashmere in it. Let me see. Oh, there it is. But it's super soft and it's got these super subtle colorways that I think are really nice. Very soothing. I like this one a lot. What color is this? Do do do. Um, I can't see. I don't know what color it is. It's very pretty. Is <laughs> the color it is? Okay, and she's got beads. Again on the spinny thing. I love this spinning action. Look how beautiful they are. Look, I love these. Oh, so pretty. Some fun yarn. What in the world is this crazy stuff? Crunchy, crunchy. Uh, alchemy. Silken straw. It's silk. Okay, that could be worth playing with. I really like this gold one. And we've got more bags. Yay, more bags. And then I think we're going into like the sport DK world over here. Shiny. More haiku. The, the color palette is really super nice in a haiku. And I'm not familiar with this yarn. Delicious yarns. Nice. They do look like you could eat them right up. Oh, that's pretty. <laughs> you guys, I'm just walking around going, wow, that's pretty. Oh, yes. Anzula. Love me some Anzula. This, I like the color tones that are going on in there. It's beautiful. We've got Malabrigo Silky Merino. Always a good choice. Some Road to China. This stuff is soft, soft, soft. Oh, nice. Some Malabrigo Arroyo, which I believe we paired some up today to make a fractured helix, which is super cool. Sueno, this is nice. What's in Sueno? Um, super wash and bamboo. Well, that's a cool combo. Might have to look at that more closely. And again, a wonderful color palette from uh, Haiku. <laughs> bamboo pop. This is a great yarn. So much fun. I'm not going to pull it out because it's so neat and happy there. They look like little colorful eggs. <laughs> And then it's all kinds of other interest. It's just, it keeps on going, doesn't it? Oh, Serena, I love Serena. This is, and you know what? It doesn't surprise me to find this in the South at all. The combination of alpaca and cotton is just really perfect for the South. And then we've got some shiny, shiny yarn. Oh my goodness. Let's see what we got here. Oh, I can't really read it but there's some fun shiny yarns. And it looks like if you wanna be a weaver, we got you under control here. I've only done tiny, tiny weaving, but it might be fun to pick up something a little bit bigger. Plenty of needles and chiao gu, always great. And then we've got another wall of yarn and you can see some familiar faces here. Oh. This is nice. You got a huge selection of this in every different color you can possibly imagine. And there's Fun Run. And what do we got here? Shetland. Shetland. Oh, wow. From California. From California. That is gorgeous. I bet this is just amazing for color work. This color is amazing. A whole column of Shibuya. I know that this is usually not crammed in here. I have displaced it with my display. 
Oh, there's my pillow. And then here is on my the table more there's there's my knitting bag that I've been working on. More of the pieces that really don't work on hangers. Do you want to say hi, Nina? Hi. Oh, there she is. Thank you for letting me come to your oh, absolutely beautiful thank store. You. Thank you. For We're coming. having lots of fun. So I'm gonna turn this around. Wee! Ah, there I am. <laughs> so that there it is. This is this gorgeous store. If you are ever in Huntsville or really within an hour or two drive of Huntsville, this store is totally worth coming to. It's got beautiful stuff. And if you saw anything that you thought was particularly cool, I'm sure Nina wouldn't mind you giving her a call and she would tell you how you guys could get it together. I hope you like that as much as I did. It is an absolutely beautiful store full of amazing people. I loved being there. And Nina at Fiber Artwork is just a whole ton of fun and always bringing in really cool stuff for her customers. If you like this video, please give it the thumbs up, click on that like button. And if you would like to be notified whenever I upload a new video, please subscribe to my channel and select notifications. Thank you so much.